children welcome back in the last video already we have discussed about the many uses of different different parts of the plants in this video we are going to uh, discuss about the remaining parts of the plants for example only one part has remained that is the uh, root the root will be below the ground and that root is going to help in, uh, in such a way that if the roots are not at all there the plant is not at all going to be alive the plant is automatically it is going to be die then along with helping the plants to keep alive the roots are going to help in the holding the plants the if the plant is very straight and very stiff uh, above the ground then it is the work of the root that it holds the plant in a perfect manner or it holds the plant in a very um, perfect manner so it can't uh, bend like this or it can't fall down after two days or five days it that roots are going to hold the plants very stiff and correctly above the ground other than that even from the roots also we get the many types of the fruits for example you all have seen uh, the groundnut from where we will get the groundnut groundnut we will get from the root part of the plant and have you ever wondered that there will be some vegetables of course fruits we will not get from the uh, downside of uh, that is uh, root part of the plant but there are some vegetables we get the root part of the plant for example the groundnut and the radish carrot sweet potato beetroot these all are the some examples we get these part these fruits or the vegetables from the root part of the plants other than giving this type of vegetables root is going to hold the plant and which will help uh, plant to alive be alive okay then other than this the root is going to play a most important role in the plant's life that it is going to suck the water and the minerals from the soil so that it will suck the water and the minerals and it is going to supply to the, the each and every part of the plant that may be the leaf that may be the fruits and that may be the stem different different part how the blood is going to be circulated in our body the each part each, each point of our body part in the same way the roots will help to transfer the uh, food from one point to another point or other other different different parts of the plants then other than this the uh, uh, we have studied already about the flower also we have studied only the one or two types of the vegetables which are there in the flower uh, form of the uh, part of the plant then other than those vegetables we have a variety of flowers when you go to the garden what you will see different different flowers colors colors of flowers you like actually the garden only because of the different part uh, plants and even the different types of the flowers if the different colorful flowers are not there you will never go to the garden okay uh, only first reason is you like the garden because of the different different colors of the flowers and another one different different types of the plants one will be like a bush one will be like a just like a long one will be of another one shape so like this different shapes will be there so you are going to like the garden because of those different shapes which look very attractive to your eyes then other than this the colors of the flowers okay other than that you will be having some toys and all to play so you will go, you like to go to the park or the garden then other than those cauliflower and the uh, gobi or that is broccoli so like this flowers we use in a uh, eating other than this we have many variety of uh, uh, flowers those are going to help in the medicines okay see this is most important you should keep this one in a, you will study this one in a, in your higher classes also but here also i will give you the small information about the flowers flowers are used in medicines also they have a medicine um, they will uh, be used in a medicine to cure the diseases and other than that the flowers are used in a perfumes 
as we are using the perfume uh, of a different different smell then how the originally um, those uh, different smells we will not get in any lab or like this only in any shop if i get a pay on 100 rupees i will get other uh, different smell it is not possible originally those all different smells are coming from the flower itself and those uh, smells are used in a perfumes and sometimes it is used in a medicines and sometimes we use this one in a soap bathing soap we use soaps for different colors and different brands but a different smells also then how does the smell will come in a soap then originally those all smells will come in a soap because of the flowers and even other than this the uh, giving the medicinal um, a role in the medicines and giving the different smells for the perfumes and the soaps other than this the flower has a most important role even in uh, it is going to help the honey bee to prepare the honey you know that how the beehive will be there how the honey bees are going to prepare the honey you, you all of you like the honey right honey will be very sweet and you want to eat it again and again but originally how the honey is going to be prepared honey bee will come and sit on the flower that may be any type of flower they will come and sit and they are going to suck the sweet juices from the flower and those juices are they are going to keep in their tube and they will go to the there he hive and there they are going to leave those all the sweet juice in that uh, particular column after some days that will be converted into the sweet honey so now we came to know that what are the different different uh, uses of parts of the different plants that may be the flower that may be the leaf or that may be the fruit and that may be the stem or that may be the root part of the plant so this is how the plant is going to help for us to live our life uh, to survive our life the plant has got the very many varieties of helps or it is going to be help us in a different different way I hope you all have understood whatever we have discussed in this video. Before ending the video, I want to give you a homework. The homework will be very simple. Just you draw a plant and just label the parts of the plant. Whichever plant of your favorite. Okay. I hope you will do this homework. In the next video, we will discuss about the next one. Next topic. Okay. Bye-bye children.